Good morning, everyone. It is day two of Vlogmas. I'm sitting down at my computer right now with greasy hair. So the plan this morning is I'm going on a walk. I'm going on a 45 minute walk, lengthy walk. There's this really awesome route like around my neighborhood that my parents and I do often. And I just want to go get some fresh air and listen to a podcast because I oftentimes listen to podcasts while I'm working and like when I'm doing other things and I feel like I cannot like fully focus on the, the murder. I love murder podcasts or like, you know, the murder weapon and I need to like hear all the details and I can't be, can't be interrupted. So I need to uh, give myself 45 minutes uninterrupted, no work to be done, just listening to a crime podcast because that is what brings me joy in this world. I've been sitting here for the past few minutes just reading my comments on yesterday's Vlogmas video and you guys have no idea how much it means to me, like the comments. I, I'm definitely one of those YouTubers that reads every single comment. Like, don't even think that I'm just saying that. I really do. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I read all of them. I take all of them to heart. <laughs> Probably shouldn't, but I do. I went to bed last night truthfully feeling very insecure about Vlogmas because, well, first of all, I just feel like no one really cares about me anymore, which sounds really, really sad. But you know, after being on YouTube for 11 years and taking hiatuses all the time and just being super wishy-washy with things, you know, I feel like I don't really deserve to have people watching my videos, you know, as much. And it, it's just all, you know, the imposter syndrome stuff creeping in. I've done numerous podcast episodes on this. It's something that I experience every single day of my life and I work on it, but alas, it's hard. So seeing the positive comments really, really uh, makes me feel better about it. Waking up this morning and reading the comments just really made me feel a lot better. And I was watching the video over last night after editing it, like I've stayed up late editing it and then I watched it again and I was like, this video is like not good. <laughs> my life is so boring right now. A number of things crept into my mind and I just wanna be transparent about that because I feel like a lot of times people think that YouTubers are like these invincible people. Anyway, that is just a part of my morning so I wanted to share it. Without further ado, I'm going to go out and I'm gonna take a walk. Passion pit. Yeah, lots of plans for this morning, none of which involve checking my email, which I'm gonna do in several hours because I'm obsessed with my email and need to chill. Okay, that's it. It always amazes me how much I sweat after just walking for 45 minutes. Like it's pretty cold out, so my face is like red. Um, so I did a 45 minute walk around the neighborhood, listened to a full episode of Crime Junkies, my favorite crime podcast. I listened to the Lipstick Killer episode um, and I really liked it. So now I'm going to do some ab exercises, I think, because I'm feeling a little soft in the ab ab department. This is the episode that I listened to. Well, I'm actually not all the way done with it, so I need to listen to the rest of it while I'm doing some sit-ups and things, but it's called The Lipstick Killer. podcast is when they're dismembering or they're going through the dismemberment of a body so <laughs> that's awesome well I'm doing like planks <laughs> my sister just woke up so we're actually going to get Starbucks a nice Tuesday treat because um, as much as I love making my DIY cold brew at home I do love a nice pumpkin cream cold brew I know they're also like not good for you but I love things that are bad for me it's my uh, fatal flaw, so. Not me stealing my mom's slippers, stealing her Uggs. Good morning, can I start up anything to eat today? Hi, can I get a grande iced latte with almond milk? Yes. Grande iced latte almond milk, sure. And then a grande caramel brulee latte, hot. This could go very badly. I haven't used one of these in a long time. Steamy in here as it does. 
does. I didn't realize that people don't universally take super hot showers. Like I think there's nothing better in this world than a steaming hot shower, like so hot it could melt my skin off. Like that is how I like my water in the shower. And living in LA, my two roommates, whenever they use my shower, they're always like, Katie, oh my God, it's so hot in here. Like your go-to setting is like all the way to the left or whichever way is all the way hot. And I'm like, yeah, I, I love my showers, like as hot as it can possibly go. Like I come out of the shower and my skin is like blotchy and red. I didn't realize that that wasn't something that everyone did. Until recently, I figured that out like this year. I read something online that the people that take really hot showers are like the loneliest people. And I'm like, awesome. My life. Anyway, I'm actually pretty amazed with the Necessaire products I've been using. I've been using the body wash and the, where is it? The exfoliator. These are the two products from Necessaire that I've been using. The body exfoliator and the body wash in eucalyptus. And oh my God, it's the most luxurious smell. And because I have super rough skin texture, I have like eczema prone skin. I have KP on the back of my arms, which is like that like skin condition. It's Calaris Pitosis or something. I always get it wrong when I try to say it. This Necessaire body wash and the exfoliator are super gentle and they make my skin soft. I haven't even put on my lotion yet. I also use the Necessaire body lotion and my skin is already so soft. Like it's very shocking. I didn't expect these products to like really do much to be honest. I thought they were kind of overhyped and I was so wrong. They are so good. I think the camera is fogging up again. Oh no. This is the Necessaire body lotion. Looks like this. Can't tell if it's focused. I also used to get a lot of like chest breakouts. I find that this stuff really has helped that not happen anymore. Like you can tell I have like a little bit of blotchiness from how hot my shower was, but I don't have any noticeable like chest acne. I am losing my towel. So I'm just sitting here on the couch getting some work done, just need a little change of scenery. So I'm uh, answering some emails now and I'm about to start working on some Patreon content on my iPad, doodling some stuff. I'm going to make myself some lunch in a few minutes, I think. What you making? Veggie samosas. What, what? They're vegetable filled. They're Indian. Indian food. Indian food. Oh. But just for a little snack. Ooh, yum. Can I have one? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I am so excited about these. I'm gonna bring my dad some downstairs where he's working, but... So I thought I would do a little unboxing. I got this nice big box here from Fossil. They know how to brighten a girl's day. They sent me a nice big box of presents, so. Ooh, okay. Look at this nice little baby watch. It's such a nice size. I have really tiny wrists. I really like this. You can see they sent this little charm necklace as well. Really cute. This bag is really cute, and it just smells like really nice leather. I love the smell of leather. So on the subject of new things, I also got this quilted jacket. It's kind of like a shacket, which I just learned is like a shirt jacket. It's like a new trend. I thought it was Sherpa jacket for a while, but it's shirt jacket. Anyway, I digress. This little jacket, it's so soft. I wish you guys could feel it like through the camera. So nice. It's like honestly like pajamas, but it's like suitable to be worn out, which is always my favorite sort of thing. It's this nice like green color. I got it from a little boutique in my town, I was trying to support a small business the other day, but the brand is Z Supply. So I got that and then I know it's like the dead of winter right now, but I got a dress. So the boutique is Brightside Boutique. I got it in Annapolis, but this dress is originally from Free People and it's just, a classic Katie gown. I'm loving the earthy tones, these like poofy sleeves. They knew, they knew I was gonna buy this. I love this like V here. I didn't try it on, which is really risky. 
So I'm hoping it's gonna fit me. <laughs> I got a size small because it looks a little bit roomy in the waist. I can always use another dress even though it's like freezing out, so. So in the spirit of showing you guys everything I'm up to today, I've been staring at my gray hairs in the mirror for the past 10 minutes. You guys were wondering, you can see them pretty well from this angle. Honestly, not because I'm ashamed of them at all. I, I think it's honestly just a part of life. And my dad went fully gray by the age of like 27, I think, or something. So it definitely runs in my family, but it is real life. I dye my hair, of course, but they still creep in so fast. So this is for anyone out there who has gray hair as well and is insecure about it. It is just a part of life. It means we are super wise. <laughs> it might look just like shininess up here, but those are indeed little baby gray hairs and they like shine in the sun. There's some right here too. This is a pretty big patch right here. So anyway, that's just real life, me just Sharing with you guys the reality, I have so much gray hair, so much wisdom. It's just like my head just can't contain all the wisdom that I have. So, so I'm hopping on a Zoom, well, a podcast collab uh, with two great girls that reached out to me and wanted me to be on their podcast. So I am joining the Zoom now. I'm eating a little oatmeal cookie because I've had such a sweet tooth lately, and I never used to have a sweet tooth. I'm always like craving salty foods, but for some reason, love doing that podcast collab. Honestly, it was such a good conversation we got on. We were talking about comparison and how it's so easy with social media to compare ourselves, obviously, which is kind of a given, everyone knows that, but it makes it so we're, we're really not present with ourselves. We're not, I told my hair buttons, so I'm probably yelling at you, getting to the root of like, of past traumas and like why we do that, why, why do we care about other people's success so much and like what, even is success. Like not everyone's version of success looks the same. Like some people think that money is success or money equals success. And some people think marriage and being in a relationship equals success. And there is no one textbook definition of, of what success is um, because it looks different for everybody. So it's just so interesting, such good food for thought in that podcast collab. I had such a good time with the girls. Just really, really got me thinking, got me thinking about uh, the various patterns of my life and how I go through waves of being super, super insecure and then waves of being really happy and very high highs, very low lows. And it's all very much a cycle. And I feel like I'm in a, a very, I feel like the season of life for me right now is very much growth oriented. And I feel like everything that I'm doing right now when I'm just, I'm kind of accepting that this year is a slow one for me in terms of just like things happening, like things really aren't happening right now for me. I'm not really working my way up to another social gathering, social endeavor. It makes me kind of have to really be with myself a lot, which can get to be overwhelming, but it can also be really good because I think we're gonna come out of this knowing ourselves a lot more than we ever did before. And, and we've had time, we're kind of allowed to sit with this time and be like, well, wow, you know, what, what do I care about? What do I, what are my goals? What am I interested in? And uh, it's also totally fine to not think about that at all and just be like, I'm gonna read a book or I'm gonna watch a TV show or something. But yeah, social media is definitely the root of a lot of our struggles. And it's sad, you know, having that conversation and knowing this and knowing that I kind of contribute to that. Like I might contribute to someone looking at themselves or thinking about their art and what they're making and be insecure about it. Um, which makes me sad, but I guess, you know, if I'm not doing it, then someone else, it's just a vicious cycle. And there's always, always something to compare, always someone to compare yourself to. And it's just something we need to know and sit with and ask questions about to ourselves and know that it's something that we all do. And yeah, so I'm just eating my cookie here. I'm responding to some emails. Um, I just knocked everything off my to-do list, which is so great. Um, all that's left really besides getting through these emails is editing this glorious episode that you're gonna see tomorrow, which is exciting. Mm. Oh, we're decorating the tree later. So that's gonna be good content. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully I remember to film it. <laughs> I've been like forgetting to film things and I'm like, wait, why am I not filming right now? Cause I'm not used to like filming my life. So anyway. That's the tea. The before shot of the tree 